Hello everyone, this is What's Up Again. Uh, this is Pulsing Coils and Lighting LEDs Part 9. Uh, this video uh, I'm making to uh, concentrate on uh, uh, doing a little demonstration on a little toroid that I made and uh, a potential relationship between this toroid and the toroids, uh, the toroid that was used uh, more specifically in the FTPU by uh, um, Stephen Marks. Uh, what you see here is this LED is being lit right now and it's being run current presently at 2.34 megahertz always at 50 percent duty 16.5 volts uh, which is again on my function generator that's not really what's being pulsed I don't know why it's hard for me to explain it but when I put my voltmeter on that uh, we're getting about two to three volts um, what I'm pulsing here is this toroid uh, this toroid is a toroid that I made. This is basically a, a 3 inch toroid. It's a T300 26. And uh, I have first put on there, uh, I think it was 112 turns of 24 gauge wire. Let me just see if I have that paper. Uh, yeah, 112 turns, 24 AWG. That's the secondary. The primary is about 33 turns. Uh, I can't remember what the gauge is, but I think it's something like uh, uh, 18. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what I wanted to show here was uh, okay, how I'm pulsing this. It's very easy. I'm just going to pan out a little. We'll cover that. The pulse is coming in positive, coming in over here, going over to my amp meter, uh, my multimeter, which is being used as an amp meter. Uh, the negative part is coming here, uh, and it's going into. Sorry if uh, I'm a little clumsy with this. So the pulse is entering the toroid on the primary side over here it's going through the primary and then it's jumping over here as in go to lux mode coming across here and then this time I have the negative also of my pulse generator connected onto it which is right here the output is going to my LED from here it's going in coming underneath going across again just like the same thing as the primary and coming out here so this is my secondary being connected right there and right there that's my LED I also have connected on here a capacitor I'm going through a diode there you go so I'm not only lighting up the LEDs but I'm loading up this capacitor I presently have uh, my volt, my first voltmeter on that capacitor at 17.89, 17.8 volts, and the frequency generator is drawing 14.9 or 15 microamps. And the waveform on this is, as shown, the bottom one here, both of them are at 5 volts. The setting is at two microseconds, and each one of these probes are at 10x presently. So this is my input. That's the output. This is what's going on the positive of the pulse generator, and that's what's coming out right onto the LED. <coughs> now, right now I am at uh, 2.34 megahertz. Now, when I go down in megahertz, I am getting lower, uh, lower uh, brightness of the LED. But let's look at this here. When I bring this down to 5,000,
Okay. And it's 5.11. That's 5,000 hertz. Look at that. 501 hertz. You can see the brightness of the LEDs. They are a little, a little dimmer. Voltage on that capacitor. 100.6 volts. Now, let me just get my little shorting stick. I have this little short stick that I'm just going to put on here. Let's see if I can catch both of them. You can see both of them here. Okay, that's shorted. Coming back. And look at that. Coming back right away. 100 volts coming back right away. And I'm drawing 45.2 microamps. Now, what I wanted to know was, okay, uh, the FTPU was showing something like 60 volts. So, I'm going to bring down the amplitude on my pulse generator. So, we'll look at the amplitude right now. We're at 16.51. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to, I'm going to put this on the voltmeter until I get the 60 volts. back up a little. That's about there. 60.9 volts. Look at the power. 9 volts. A 9 volt battery that's drawing 45 microamps. Could put an output off of a capacitor, a dioded capacitor. It'll just show you an output of 60.7 volts. Right off just the center toroid. One center toroid on the FTPU, as far as I'm concerned right now, is all that was required. All I have to do now is just figure out how I can pulse 5000 Hertz on a small circuit and replace my pulse generator with the, with the small circuit and a 9 volt battery and then we can really play loopy loopy. Uh, so basically that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, this for me is very revealing a 9 volt battery with a few micro micro amperes consumption and uh, I could probably make this thing sit at 60 volts which he showed on his demo all he showed was voltage didn't show any amperage didn't light up a bulb so right now I'm still lighting my LEDs and at the same time I'm maintaining this voltage so thank you very much uh, stay tuned for the next one bye now